Hello, everybody. Hi, Euro. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Thank you guys for being here. As you know, we had a little schedule switch up this week. I said I was going to stream Tuesday, Thursday, and then literally a couple hours later, something came up and I had to uh, change the schedule. So I was like, oh, why didn't I just wait a few more hours before I put it out? But anyway, here we are. It, it works, right? <laughs> I hope you had a good Wednesday today. It was, a, it was a rainy Wednesday here. I feel like we hadn't had rain in a while and it rained a lot today. So it was kind of a gloomy day. I, I don't like rain in the fall because the, the perfect characteristic of fall is that things have to be crisp, okay? It's not fall if it's not crisp. So when it rains in fall, then nothing's crisp anymore and, it, and it's, it's just gloomy. So I know we needed the rain. That's such an adult thing to say. It's raining, but oh, we needed the rain. But yeah, it was it was kind of a gloomy day here today. So I'm very excited to escape to the limitless worlds of Starfield. Escape into outer space, if you will. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit of a shorter stream tonight. I'm thinking uh, I'll probably go till about 7.30, so we'll probably stream for about two hours or so, uh, unless something comes up and we get hooked or other ways and I need to stop earlier, but just kind of giving you a heads up that that's the plan. Um, hi, Sharp. How are you? Yoro says, today was our first decent day weather-wise in like a week and a half. Oh, well, I must have sent the good weather your way, I guess. I'll take it. We traded weather. You, you need some crisp fallness in your life, so I'm happy that you did, that you did get that today. <laughs> it has been a long time, Sharp. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. We're going to be playing some more Starfield tonight. We were playing last night, and we had, well, I had, I can't speak for everybody else, but I had a fantastic time playing Starfield. We beat the UC Vanguard questline last night, and I think it's my favorite questline so far. It was really good. It was like full of mystery and intrigue with a little bit of horror. It was it was awesome. So the very last thing we did was we made some pretty big decisions. And now today, as soon as we load up here, we should be able to reap our rewards. Apparently, we're going to get quite a big credit disbursement, aka money money. Uh, apparently, we're going to get a fancy penthouse suite, so I can't wait to check that out. And uh, I don't know what other goodies we get, but that's the first thing we're going to do today is go see what re rewards we get for completing that quest line. Because I ended the stream last night right when we ended it, and we didn't get enough time to go pick up our rewards. I've been going crazy over work. It sucks. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, work, work has been extremely busy for me. This is typically one of our most busy times of the year, sort of between September and December. Um, you're kind of wrapping things up, getting things done before year end. Sometimes plaintiffs are more motivated to settle because Christmas is around the corner. So it's been busy for me too. I, I gotta tell you, I uh, I was overworked today as well. So that's why I'm very happy to stream tonight, but also why it's gonna be a bit of a shorter one because I had a long day and I'm unfortunately very tired, but hopefully some Starfield will inject all of us with some fun and levity in our lives. We'll stop thinking about work and we'll just think about space aliens and, and it'll be fantastic. <laughs> Oh, it's end of the year for me. It sucks. They moved it up a month. Ah, so that's why you're so busy. Yeah, it's a it's a busy time of year for most people, I think. And most industries are are busy at this time of year, especially after summer, which is typically a slower season. So people are, are away on vacation and stuff. So people are starting to get to things now. Things are picking up again, plus the motivations for end of year, like I said. So busy, busy, busy. But we'll get we'll get through this together, I promise. Uh, in other news, the NHL season starts tonight. That's very exciting. My Sens are playing right now. I just checked. We're up one nothing. Uh, I've got high. I've got high hopes for my Sens this year. Um, we've we've been rebuilding over the past few years. We haven't made the playoffs since 2017. It's been six years, um, but I think this is the year. I think this is the year we get back in the playoffs. We've got a good young team. I'm very excited. Um, I'm extra excited because, as most of you guys know, I am a huge New England Patriots fan, football. And they are the opposite. After years and years and years of success, uh, we are in total rebuild mode. So, as much as I get it, you can't be on top forever. It still sucks, and uh, I'm happy... <laughs> that another one of my teams is going to be back so I can cheer them on because I don't think I'm going to be doing much cheering for the Patriots this year. 
I'm still in wait and see mode for Detroit. They're coming up too. I don't I don't know if you guys are playoffs this year, Euro, but you're definitely on the upward trajectory. I feel like Ottawa and Detroit, we've kind of been in the same phase. We've kind of been rebuilding for the same amount of time. So if you guys don't get it this year, it'll be your year next year for sure. Go Blues. Hell yeah. We got some NHL fans in here. Love it. The Blues have been good the past couple of years. They just need to take that next step. They're consistently making it to the playoffs, but they can't quite take that next step. And then, of course, it'll be interesting to see in what way the Toronto Maple Leafs <laughs> break all of their fans' hearts this year. Anyone have any guesses for what devastating end awaits them in the playoffs? <laughs> We're going to talk epic collapse. We're going to talk sweep. There's The options are, are endless. You can cheer for the Lions Euro. I actually meant to message you the other day. I checked the power rankings. You know how they put out the power rankings each week for the NFL teams? And Detroit was number five. And it's I, I'm pretty sure it's the first time since I've watched football. And I started watching football in 2000 and six yes because i was 12 uh it's the first time i've ever seen the detroit lions in the top five of the nfl power rankings so i i was so excited for you i honestly was i was i was excited i'm i'm gonna root for the lions this year um because we we love an underdog story (laughs) we need to calm bangington down he's too wild at the moment yeah jordan bennington is he is very talented. He is extremely talented, but yeah, let's let's just stick with. He needs to calm down a bit. He needs to focus. He needs to lock in. He needs to sort of um, let go of the outside distractions. So I agree with you. He if he can lock and load, he's the best goalie in the NHL, or one of the best goalies for sure. Hey, Sean, Namaste. Eight days until Spider Man Two. That's insane. Holy crap. No, wait, not eight days. It comes out on the 24th. Unfortunately, (laughs) you you jumped a few days. It's eight days plus seven days, 15 days till Spider-Man 2. That still deserves a round of applause, though. So soon, so soon, so soon. I cannot wait for Spider-Man 2. (laughs) I'm actually taking the day off work. Uh, As I mentioned, this month is just insane. And so I'm actually going to take Spider-Man launch day off work because A, I need a day off and B, what better day to take off than a day that I can just play Spider-Man all day. And the way I look at it is if I don't take the day off, I'm not going to be productive anyways because I'm just going to be thinking about Spider-Man the whole day. So really, it's a win-win for everyone involved. (laughs) Yes, 15 days till Spider-Man. Still exciting. Still exciting. (laughs) Rights Canadians start watching NFL at 12 down. <laughs> Just a rite of passage. At 12, every Canadian steps up to the altar. They put on the sorting hat, and the sorting hat yells out what team they are a fan of. And for better or worse, through heartbreak and happiness, you will cheer for that team. That team might make you cry. That team might make you mad. That team might make you happy. You, you can't choose. You choose your team when you're 12 years old, and you are stuck with that team for the rest of your life through good and bad... <laughs> It's so funny because uh, Alana just doesn't get it. Alana's not a fan of sports. And um, she she just doesn't understand. Like, the Patriots were getting beat up on on Sunday, okay? And I was, like, just honestly so upset. And she was like, just stop watching. She was like, why don't you cheer for another team this year? I was like, Alana, sweetie, darling. No, that's not how it works. I need to watch them be awful for the rest of the year and tear my hair out about it. Because this is what I signed up for as a fan. <laughs> you don't get it, sweetie. These these men are going to make me cry every weekend for the next eight weeks. And that's just the way of the world. <laughs> hey, Meerkat. Meerkat says, is Tiff validating her decision to skip work for video games for chat again? I am. I just need to document this as photo evidence in case my employer ever asks. Canadian kids, why can't I cheer for a home team, parents? Because no one watches the CFL, stupid. (laughs) Yeah, Calgary has a team, a CFL team. And I've been saying I've lived in Calgary now for almost three years, two and a half years. And every year I've been like, "Okay, we're going to go to a CFL game. 
We're going to go to a CFL game. Have I been to a CFL game? I haven't. I just... I'm just too invested in NFL football that I can't also be invested in CFL football. Like, I, I don't have enough time and mental capacity to, like, dedicate myself to a different league. So, one of these days I'll go to a CFL game, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not for me. Hey, I don't have an NFL team locally anymore, but I do have the XFL. Isn't the, um, did I read that the XFL and the, whatever the other league is, are merging? Which is the best idea ever. Because I was like, why are there two leagues? Like, it never made any sense to me. So the fact that they're merging makes way more sense to me, honestly. I think that's just better for the better for the sport. But yeah, the CFL doesn't have many teams. There's Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Saskatchewan, Winnipeg, Ottawa, Hamilton, Toronto, and Montreal. There's only nine teams in the CFL, so... It's obviously a much smaller league than the NFL. It's barely even comparable. But yeah, there you go. There's our sports talk for this evening. <laughs> Let's get to the video game, shall we? Let's uh, let me load up Starfield here. As I was saying earlier, I think most of you guys, or some, I shouldn't say most, some of you guys were here last night. Um, if you guys have any experience with Starfield, we actually finished the UC Vanguard quest line, which was really, really good. If if anyone has yet to play Starfield, I highly recommend that you do this quest line first. I was I was a little bit. Um, disappointed that I didn't do this quest line first because this quest line just explains so much about the lore of the world and the factions and the different players. Uh, I feel like the first 20 or so hours I was really wandering around aimlessly and if I had did this this faction quest line first I feel like I would have been a lot more grounded but hey you live and you learn this is the beauty of an open world game you can do whatever you want whenever you want. Um, but yeah, that's that's my recommendation if anyone is to play Starfield. So as I mentioned, we literally finished the quest last night and the president of the United Colonies told me that there are lots of goodies waiting for me. So that's where we're going to start tonight. We are going to go get our goodies. I'm very excited. Grandma Gladys worked hard for this. She is ready for her goodies. No, not here. I need to go to uh, the lobby. The XFL and USFL merge, right. But there will still be arena football. <laughs> what about the um, the lingerie league? By the way, Captain, is that still going? Are they merging as well? Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Fuck yeah. Can you tell me about what a class one citizen is? It's a high honor. I have to do something big for the colonies to earn that sort of designation. Only ever met a couple myself, and certainly never given one orders. You should be real proud. Well, I'm just here to collect whatever it is this class one thing pays. Luckily, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. Fuck yeah, grandma loves couponing. Counts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. We should be able to grant you access. Twelve thousand dollars? Hell yeah! Glad to see the UC give credit where credit's due. Higher ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space, or you could help the TMD in cleaning up terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Uh, no, not really. I've done my duty, Commander. I think I'm gonna take some time off from aliens and put the old feet up in the new penthouse. Of course. You've earned some R&R. &R. Once you're rested up and ready to head out there again, you come see me. Okay, bye. All right, so for saving the United Colonies from the threat of an alien invasion, we were gifted $12,000, unlimited coupons to all the shops in the city, and a penthouse suite. Obviously, the penthouse is what I'm most excited about, so let's go check this out. 
Is this our first political bribe? Yeah, I think so, Meerkat. Yeah. Hey, MK. This is a Bethesda game. 90% of it is running around blindly, kicked off because a dog pulled you off the road. Next thing you know, you're stealing some jewels from a local Baron's rain boots. <laughs> You're right, I shouldn't be so hard on myself for doing things out of order. Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest class one citizen. Fuck yeah, it is. You quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. Woohoo! It's a premium penthouse at the top. I of the love the word tower. premium. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Of course. I'm interested. Who would say maybe later? Sign me up. Great. You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Hell yeah! Time to go visit our new penthouse. It's the best day ever. Grandma Gladys, the class one citizen, just has a nice ring to it, you know? Okay, the residential district is over here. Pass out first. I know you're excited, Gladys, but don't drop dead on us. Monitor that CO2 and oxygen usage. So this is the nice part of town. Look at this. We got ponds with lily pads in them and everything. Hey, Dark Phoenix, how are you? This is the fancy part of town. Gladys lives here now because she's fancy. Hi. Hi. Rich kids. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Mercury Tower. Here we go. Oh, we live right next door to a chunk station. Very nice in case we need a late night snack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This place looks fucking fancy. All the way up to the penthouse, please. I'm so excited. Yo! Oh my god, it's nice. Oh shit, it's really nice. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, we made it, baby. We made it now. Look at the, I love the fact that the, the walls and the floor are just one wooden panel. That is very cool. There's so much room for activities in here. Look at this. Sam, think of how much uh, sand castles we could make in here. So much room. What is this? The world's biggest broom closet. I could eat off these floors. Holy shit. This kitchen is bigger than our whole last apartment combined. Look at the pantry. I'm obsessed. All right. Oh my God. Guys, I want this house. <laughs> Grandma Gladys, can you sell it to me? Holy moly. We got another view back here. Yo! Oh my god, this is sexy. This is nice. I can see my ship from here. It's right there. That's cool. We got a nut. Oh my god, we have two bathrooms? With two sinks? Sam, do you want to move in? The only thing my apartment came with is a soap dispenser and a roll of paper towel. <laughs> it's all the essentials. Holy shit! Oh my god, it's still not over! 
A laundry room? Oh my, oh my god. This place. Well. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, hey, Sammy. Good lord. Okay. The real question is... How do I build stuff in here? There should be... Yeah, here. A little panel. Okay. Let's try to make it look fancy, I guess. Our other place looked like shit. But that's because the whole place looked like shit. I feel like I need to step my game up now and, and actually make this place look nice. There's a lot of pressure, Gladys. You can't just be a... A poor old lady anymore. Where can I get one IRL? That's what I want to know. This is fucking gorgeous. Spread this out a little bit more. Nope, too much. This is just gonna now be an apartment decorating stream, by the way. This is basically a house flipper stream now, so sit back, relax. <laughs> Put a little bench in here. The one with the cushions, though. Thank God I've spent my time picking up random junk so I can make furniture. <laughs> what would we do otherwise? Stools for the counter. The issue is, is I don't know if Gladys can get up on any of these stools. Highland Kitten? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome to the Gladys Decorates Her New Penthouse Suite stream. Should put another bench by the door if people want to take off their shoes. What do you mean? What is it intersecting with? Oh, I can't put anything by the door. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, Sam! He's already trying out the chairs! <laughs> Here goes our two-hour stream. <laughs> That's right. Coming into this, I was like, okay guys, I'm only gonna stream for like two hours tonight. Then I got a penthouse, and everything changed. <laughs> everything changed. The issue is, is I have so much damn space. I don't even know what I'm going to put in here. Just trying to make it look less empty, I guess, is step one. Must be built on walls. Isn't this a wall? Oh, it's a curved wall. We already got a refrigerator. So that's fine. Here's a good place for a big old storage crate. Oh, we gotta put some art up. Fancy bitches love art. Finally, a place to store those 13 toasters you stole. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Can't be rich without fancy art, right? Oh my god, my house is so fucking big! <laughs> Where am I even gonna put all this stuff? Here we go, one on each wall. The issue is, is they are all at different heights. Fuck. Uh... Uh... 
it's about right. This one needs to come up a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect. There we go. What else do we got? Wall monitor, sure. A little TV in here. Bam! Oh, <gasps> dartboard, yes. Yes. I wanna throw darts. Uh, we don't really have a good place to throw darts. Well, what is this room? This is probably gonna be my bedroom, because it has the ensuite bathroom and the balcony. Which means this room can be the fun room, I guess. Yeah. Darts and TV. Bam. Oh my god, there's so much shit. Coffee maker? Oh, hell yeah. That's what I got these shelves for. Stove top. Drink machine? Fuck yeah! Let's get Liddy at Gladdy's house. She's got a drink machine. Put it right next to the coffee. Boom. Towels? Those are those are always important. Oh, <gasps> we can get plants? Oh my god, I love it here! Yo! You know Grandma Gladys loves plants! This is fantastic! Okay, let's get a big plant for right here. Oh, there's planters and potted plants! Okay. Okay. Guys, I hope you're- you realize that we're only gonna be decorating this apartment for the rest of stream. <laughs> I hope you're cool with that. Tiff's white girl just flashed. Ooh, cute plants. My inner Gladys came out, you could say. Imagine if they had this type of designing in Skyrim. Well, hopefully they will have it for the next Elder Scrolls game. Because I would love to deck out a fantasy style apartment. That would be cool. Oh my god, there's hanging plants too? Yes, you know Gladys loves hanging plants. Oh my god. This is every grandma's biggest dream, is to have plants hanging from her balcony. I'm gonna buy one of every type. The Elder Scrolls Online has decorating? Well, there you go. Okay, we now have... Well, we're gonna have one of every single potted plant available. One more. Holy shit, look at my potted plant collection! This is incredible! I officially have one of every single potted plant. Gladys has a complete set of potted plants. I actually have not tried building an outpost. That's that's next on my to-do list. I mean, this comes from Fallout 4, which was taken from a mod for Fallout New Vegas. Yes, the idea of building and individually placing things started as a mod. Interesting. <gasps> a hanging rug? Oh, that's so Gladys. Just a rug. Hanging outside in the sunshine for no reason at all, except to dry. Yes. I'm obsessed. Okay, we need a little- we need a little bench. So Gladys can sit out here and look at her plants. Oops. Boom. Oh my god! This is so fun! Okay. We need a bed. Boom. Oh, 
Why don't just like a, a side table, you know? These little ones, there we go. This could work. Oh no, I'm out of resources! Okay. Well, that means we have to get rid of this one, because it looks dumb if there's only one. <laughs> This is low-key my dream home. I hope you know that. When I grow up, I just want to be Gladys. Should we put a creepy mannequin in her room? <laughs> I feel like that might kill the mood a little bit. We could put some uh, mission boards in our fun room. Want to pick up a mission? Bam! Want to pick up a bounty? Bam! This place is huge. Okay, let's see what we got. So we come in to the world's biggest living room. I think this place is still going to need some furniture, but you know, for now, off to a good start. <gasps> it came with a mug! A UC Vanguard mug! Oops. I'm going to get out of build mode. That's cute. And a succulent. All it needs is a bidet. Fuck yeah. Then Gladys would be living in luxury. Rugs, rugs, everywhere! Guys, I love my new house. Yeah, this was so worth it. Alright! What do you think, Sammy? Do you like it? We need to find Cora and talk with her. She made it sound like his life or death. Your daughter? What's wrong with... What? Sam, why are you ruining the mood? What's wrong with Cora? We need to find Cora and talk with her. She made it sound like his life or death. Okay. Well, here I was hoping Sam was gonna, you know, compliment my apartment. Instead, he's like, let's go talk to my kid. This is why Grandma Gladys never had kids, folks. Okay, so she, um... She'll be at the lodge. Tiff, how is she a grandma without kids? She just has, like, adopted grandkids. You know? Children that she has taken under her wing and made her own. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. What? I thought I you wanted to talk to your to daughter. Foot. We need to find Cora and talk with her. She made it sound like his life or death. Yes, I know, Sam! Jesus Christ, chill out. What is even- I didn't even know anything was wrong with her. She should be down here. Cora, are you here? Your dad's having a panic attack. No, she's not even here. She must be on board my ship. Okay, hang on. Yeah, Grandma just has a lot of cats, that's all. Those are her children. <laughs> Humans are overrated, okay? Pick cats every day. No. Cora, are you on here? Because your dad's freaking out about something and I don't even know what's wrong. And he's kind of ruining my vibes. Today was move-in day. That was gonna be fun, you know? He's all, Cora this, Cora that. All 
All right, Cora, Sam. Than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her for me. Cora, Cora. So what's so important that you needed us? Thank you for talking to me. I got something super important. Something's wrong with mom. You just figuring this out? No, she's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. Wait, you write each other? Focus. We need to find mom. You believe me, right? How do you know she's in trouble? We were reading the Count of Monte Cristo together, and she hasn't gotten back to me. She's a slow reader, but it's been too long, even for her. She always sends a message when she's finished, but I haven't heard anything. Most forced conversation start ever, right? <laughs> Good lord. I mean, this may be serious, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure the kid wants me to humor her, so let's do that. Very serious. Listen, trust me, Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad, she's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask, but there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Okay, well... <laughs> You're literally asking me to go across the galaxy to meet your ex-wife, so I think you're going to owe me for this one. Like I said, I know this is a massive favor for me and Cora. Lillian will be at the Ranger Outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. So if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Cora sees Lillian, everything will be back to normal. Right, yeah, I'm sure that's really how easy it'll be. Moment. You want to talk to me again? It's never dull around you. No, you don't. Don't be a stranger. Why are you constantly... <laughs> Leave me alone, Sam. I need boundaries. Good God. You... What? Who else wants to talk to me? Barrett? Yeah, I don't know where Barrett is right now. So, let's just go find... Sam's ex-wife. Excuse me, Cora. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's go. Hope she's not as hot as me. If she is, we're gonna have a problem. planet we are very familiar with at this point. As an employee of Ryujin Industries, we've spent a lot of time on Neon. Look out for gangs. Actually, the gangs should look out for us. Okay, Cora's here. Come on, Cora. Let's go find your mom. Hello. Welcome back. Listen, uh, feel free to use anything. Wait, is that Sam Co? You have a lot of nerve. Here to yell at Lillian personally? Maybe change things up a little? Listen, this ain't about me. It's about the kid. Oh, um, I didn't see you, princess. Sorry. So why are you here then? Do you think Jalen's boning Lillian? What's your problem with Sam Co? Besides him ditching the rangers to join what was it, Constellation, Lillian Hart is a hell of a ranger. And every single time she gets a message from him, it just makes her job that much harder. Oh yeah, he's in love she with just Lillian. Do us all okay. A favor and get out of our lives. That's crystal clear. Um, I'm just doing a favor for Sam. His daughter wants to see Lillian. Sam drug you all the way out here. That is a favor. But Lillian Sorry, I'm afraid I cannot disclose that information. You do remember that from your ranger days, Sam. About civilians not being allowed to know sensitive information and all that. It's Cora, right? 
I just can't say anything. I'm sorry. Fortunately for me, I'm not just a civilian. Whips out deputy badge. So, this is official business. Sorry. That's different. I haven't heard from Lillian in some time. I know she was working a case, a big one, and was playing it really close to the best. Feel free to search your desk. Maybe there's something there. Sorry, that's all I got. I love how all of the other characters, like, quit their previous lives to be part of Constellation. Like, Sam used to be a ranger. He quit and joined Constellation. Sarah used to be uh, part of the Navy. She quit and joined Constellation. Gladys is like, LOL, and just does everything. <laughs> she's a ranger. She's part of the Navy. She's part of the Reunion Industries. Um, she's in Constellation. It's just like, Gladys wears many hats. Is there anything else you can think of? Um... She headed out a few weeks ago. I asked if she needed anything from me. She's really formidable. One lady army type of thing. But I could tell the case was dangerous. All right, I appreciate the help. Hey, I'm genuinely happy to help you out. Your friend, not so much. Listen, I've heard a lot of stories about you. If Lily needs an assist, she couldn't ask for anyone better. Wow, now he's buttering me up. Hopefully, you won't need- Jalen, are you trying to bone me too? Stick to one cougar at a time, bro. Whoa. It's the office slash bedroom of Lillian. That is an interesting painting. What we got here? Confidential informant financial disclosure. Something you just leave out on your desk. Ranger Lillian Hart's request for 1,306 credits for ongoing investigation has been approved. The credits will be delivered to the confidential informant at Ryujin Apartments number 305 as requested by a dead drop with maximum discretion. That's sketch. Uh, oh, there. Hi. So what'd you find? Here, read this. So Lillian was working with a confidential informant. An address of Lillian's confidential informant. What's a confidential informant? A snitch. Someone that works for bad people, but is helping the authorities on the side. Well, looks like we have a lead. No name, but an address works. Shall we? Um, I guess we pay them a visit. And the field trip continues. Now be careful, Cora. Dad! can't tell when life's about to sucker punch you. Well, especially on Neon. Cora might get sucker punched at any moment. <laughs> Alright. Ryujin Apartments, just across the street there. Number 305. Well, not the best neighborhood. Jesus, Sam. <laughs> Fucking flew in here. Chill out. Door's locked. Well, yeah. You'd have to be certifiable to leave your door unlocked on Neon. What are you doing? Picking the lock. Why can't you just <laughs> knock on the door? How'd you learn to do that? A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Sam, your child is a criminal. I told you nothing good will come from those books. I can't believe my little Cora is picking locks. She's something, all right. Ain't that the truth? But seriously, dragging her all over creation? Uh, maybe Lillian's right. Well, Neon's a rough town. She's waltzing through it like it's nothing. Uh, I mean, something to think about, I guess. Or more likely something to keep me awake at 2 a.m. Stop trying I mean, to look for me for parenting advice. Unless it's for your cat, Sam. You really think that? Even now? I'm in this for your booty and nothing more. Well, I guess that's our cue. Oh, shit! Jesus. Cora. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. He's just dead! In a brutal, Stay brutal away. fashion. Need, Cora. We'll investigate. Good if lord. CI, does that mean mom... Potentially. As tough as they come. It does mean that whatever she's involved in, uh, it's not some milk run. Looks like he was probably shot right here, or stabbed and then dragged in onto the bed. That's him, the confidential informant. 
Hmm. What else do we got around here? Any clues? Broken TV, sus. Oh. Managed to bribe a transport pilot who got some footage of Victor Compound. Pilot counted a whole mess of syndicate goons, at least 10 plus. He sold me his ID badge for a thousand credits. Wouldn't sign for it, so the Rangers will just have to take my word. The rest of the slate contains further details on Victor Compound. The compound is on McClure 2, and it lists the coordinates. There are digital records of a fake ID and details of a cover story to infiltrate the compound. There are no references to Lillian Hurt. That's way more blood than you'd expect from a shot to the head. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no. That is a lot of blood. I don't even know. No, you can't even see the wound. He actually looks like he's just sleeping. So peaceful. Cora, don't get uh, blood on your sneakers, sweetie. Looks like you found it. A slate. What's it say? Shit. Sioka Syndicate. Some Victor compound. Some stuff about fake IDs and cover details. Lillian's doing a deep cover up on the Syndicate. Looks like Cora was right then. She's in trouble. Well, she's got smarts aplenty. Cora, listen to me. This is too dangerous. No. The syndicate is very real and very deadly. There's no way. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful. Promise. If mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... I know that look. Ah, oh, damn it. There is no way we are bringing Cora into a mercenary compound. She's just gonna... We're gonna spend the whole time making sure she doesn't get shot. I don't suppose I can talk either of you out of this. She's too much of a co to be left behind. Thanks, Dad. All right. Let's go find your mother. Nothing better than when you're 14 years old and your dad brings you to a crime scene and then a mercenary compound. <laughs> Girlie's gonna need some therapy after this. <laughs> All right, here's the Victor compound. How did they fuck up how perfect the camera was in Fallout 4 for convos? Now it just looks like a Zoom meeting rather than cinematic. <laughs> just flashing between the screens. Sight is sufficient. Oh, this is a cute planet. There's actually like trees and stuff here. I feel like 75% of the planets we go to are just barren rocks, so... It's always a pleasant surprise when I see nature. <laughs> oh yeah, it's eight. It's only minus eleven. There's eighteen percent oxygen, 0.4 gravity. This place is pretty good. You know, this might actually be a good place to set up an outpost. Okay, let's. We'll deal with this first, and then maybe we'll look into an outpost. Touchdown. Okay, give me a second. I still know some ranger secure frequencies. This is Ko. Hart, you there? Please respond. Hart here. Acknowledged. And frequency secured. Oh, Sam. I didn't expect her to answer. Sam, what are you doing here? Mom! Oh, you gotta be. Sam, you didn't bring my daughter here, did you? I told him not to. What's your status? We will be talking about this later. Cover is intact for now, but the clock's ticking down fast. Too fast. A distract and extract should do it. Like old times. Great. Just great. And Sam, if even one hair on Cora's head gets hurt... We are 110% on the same page. Comms out. Told you not to bring your 14-year-old on a mission. All right. Well, time for us to make an entrance. You're still in, right? What's a distract and extract? 
She needs us to distract the Syndicate so she can shed her cover and then make it to the extraction point. Yeah, we've done a couple of runs like this before. Hope I'm not too rusty. Okay, of course I'm in, Sam. I owe you. Big time. Yeah, you do. Come, Joe. Take my binoculars from my bag. You're our eyes, okay? You tell us about anything you see. Roger. You move one solitary inch away from that perch, and you will be grounded until you're 30. <laughs> I am not kidding. This is my deadly serious face, yeah? I got it. I got it. I won't move. Good. <sighs> oh, this has to be the most half-baked idea. Okay, let's make it happen. The things I do for you, cowboy. Going across the galaxy in search of your ex-wife. Bringing your daughter along. And now potentially angering a local mercenary gang in the process. Yeah, this should be fantastic. Alright, I guess that's where we're headed. Victor Compound. Oh, there's a turret. Oh, shit. Well, so much for going in quietly. Let's fuck him up. <laughs> yeah, we got about two steps in before the whole compound saw us, and now it's just shotguns to the face. Climb the mountains to the left of that path you took. Started sniping heads while Sam did the same after shooting me in the back once. <laughs> Honestly, that was probably the smarter thing to do, Matt, but uh, Gladys doesn't always necessarily make the smart decision. She makes the fun decisions. Oh, fuck. I should probably stop looting, hey? <laughs> Take out all the guys trying to kill me first. I just blew it all up. Whoa. That was a big explosion. Okay, that was fun. There's only one guy left. Oh, hi. Nice. Okay, Lillian should be able to extract now. There's no one left. Before we find her, though, let's make sure we get all our loot. Is that Lillian's ship, maybe? Or the Syndicate ship? Hard to say. Good job, Sam. Let's go find your ex. Let's make that very clear. Ex-wife. Oh! Oh! 
hurts. Oh god, and mines. Let it go! Sam, can you take care of those? You got it, buddy. I gave you a big gun for a reason. Doesn't seem to be working out very well for you. Come on. Fine, I'll do it myself. This is why Gladys has been single for 300 years. Can't count on a man! All right. In we go. Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> Look at this. Please fix. The hell happened? Thing is busted. Guess I know we're here, Sam. Is there anybody in here, though? This looks... They've got a medical... facility here. But I don't see anyone. Oh, there you are! Hi! <laughs> My name's Gladys. How you doing? Turn on the flashlight, it's dark as fuck in here. Oh, sorry, Sam! Sorry, I thought you were a bad guy. That's what you get for taking me on a mission to rescue your ex wife. That's how it feels, Sam. Lock picking break. Found the armory. This gig is amazing. I've never had it so easy. I get to pretty much sit on my ass all day and push a couple buttons. Oh, and Rhodes has been giving me an extra ration every couple days just to mess with Gonzi every now and then, which, let's face it, it's kind of fun anyway. It's a win win. Well, I'm very sorry to uh, fuck up your dream job, bud. <laughs> When I come in here on my murder spree. All good things must come to an end, as they say. Whoa! I think those guys were twins! They looked so much alike. That was kind of freaky, honestly. canisters and empty syringes. This place is really into OH&S, aren't they? Whoa! A plushy Xeno snuggle! It's so cute! What is it? Oh my god! It has six legs, a tail, Four ears, four eyes, and a beak. Twelve toes. And he is green. I want him. You're mine. 
Oh, there's another one. Plushy Cuddlesaur. I will collect them all. Grandma Gladys has a new objective in life to collect every alien plushy there is. The journey starts today. Cue the Pokemon theme song. Bad people, bad jokes, too. Okay, we gotta read that. Why did the chicken cross the road? Huh? What's a chicken? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Planet. Planet who? If I throw a party, will you help me plan it? <laughs> I can see where this book got its title. Ecliptic mercenary says to a woman, I've been hired to kill you and I always get the job done. Woman says, can't we talk about this, son? <laughs> what? How do you keep an idiot in suspense? How do you get a free star collective hick out of a tree? Wave. <laughs> Lewis Lupper's Bad People, Bad Jokes, Volume 2 is the follow-up to his original work and just like its predecessor has become a cult hit. Cult hit indeed. You know who I bet would have liked that one? Ellie. From The Last of Us. <laughs> she is the only person who could appreciate that. Oh, hi! I didn't know there was anyone else here! Why are you on fire? Did you see that? Girl was just standing there on fire. Spontaneous combustion, okay. Why does this person have a whole ass globe in their locker? <laughs> what the fuck? Tif tip tip f tip f f i t f t i f f tip tip i t f f i t f f it f t i f f tip 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 it tip 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 tie f i r t f. I think you almost gave my bot a heart attack, but Morgan. Thank you so much for the resub. 55 months already? That is insane. Thank you so much, my friend. I tried typing your name as fast as I could without looking or backspacing. Well, you did good for the first two. Then it kind of went off the rails. Then you picked it up again in the in the final third, and then you ended up off the rails. And I, I love that. <laughs> That's I wouldn't have asked for anything better, honestly. That's just the way I want it. Sam, are you setting people on fire? Is that what's happening? You're finally playing Trails in the Sky? Oh, amazing! I hope you enjoy it. I've played through all of uh, the first Sky trilogy. I've played through all of the Crossbell arc, and I'm now currently on the Cold Steel arc. I just finished the first Cold Steel game. I gotta get start started on the second one now, so. I'm making my way through the series slowly but surely, but I really hope you enjoy the Sky trilogy. Oh, you think it's me setting people on fire by using white hot ammo. Maybe. Man, they've got a lot of books here. Oliver Twist? Okay, anyway. Sam, I found your ex-wife. You're the new ranger, right? I see the stories about you weren't exaggerated. Thanks. Looks like I get to play hero for once. I gotta say, your time is spot on. My cover was hours from being blown to hell. We have a lot to talk about, but let's get to your ship first. Positives. She's alive. Negatives. She's not not hot. I was hoping she'd be a troll. How do you know about me? Let's just say you made quite the impression on my daughter. Fuck yeah. I wish I didn't Grandma Gladys moving in. Okay, well yeah, the sooner we get out of here the better. I'll see you soon. Okay, we'll meet her back at the ship. First, we will rob this place blind, of course, as we always do. That is, this is quite the freaking setup they've got here in the back. 
Holy computers. Someone knocked over the succulent. How rude. I like shooting Merc boost packs. They take off like bottle rockets and explode. Really? Oh, cool. I'll have to try that next time. All those books we picked up. Can I read any of those to get... Um... Areas on Earth, I wonder. We'll go through just to make sure. Yeah, it didn't pop up that I found any new locations, so... Guess not. She is walking slow as hell. Okay. Guess we'll take our time and... and loot it up. Got a great gym here. Someone was playing beer pong. Nice. Yeah, this place looks like it was fun. Too bad we killed them all, hey? <laughs> no more fun for you guys. Good in your lockers. A coffee mug that says Mondays, am I right? <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> Iconic. Hey, Idaho, how are you? Hope your Wednesday wasn't as bad as a Monday, am I right? <laughs> Welcome on in. Shut up, Sam. I'm strong. But I'm actually gonna drop that. <laughs> okay. Let's go meet your ex-wife. Plot twist. What if me and Sam's ex-wife fall in love and we run off together? Now that would be a story for the ages. <laughs> when your girlfriend leaves you for your ex-wife? Oh my god, they'd make a movie about us, Sam. You would be the unfortunate victim, but a movie nonetheless. Love that grass pop in there. Right. She's on the ship. Before we actually get set up on the ship, I want to explore around this planet a little bit. This actually looks like a really nice planet, and it looks like this might be a good place for us to set up our very first outpost. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, it says I can't, actually. Why? I wouldn't be able to tell you. I thought this looked like a very nice planet for an outpost, but... Maybe it's because it has a thin atmosphere? But it has a thin a- it has a atmosphere, period. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Um, beggars can't be choosers when you're in outer space. I thought having an, an atmosphere period would, would sort of check the box for outpost building, but I guess not. It needs to have a thicker atmosphere. I don't know. Yeah, as you can see on the bottom there, the outpost button is supposed to be X. And, uh... I cannot... I'm, I'm mashing it right now, and I cannot seem to set up an outpost, so... My dreams of colonizing the planet have been crushed. Oh well. Hello. Hey, buddy. Take off, Captain. We're not gonna take off without talking to your wife, bud. Alright, family reunion. 
This is your ship, right? I hate to ask, but I'm gonna need some more assistance with my mission. It's not done? Are you for real? <laughs> Weren't you just chewing me out about Sam. putting Cora at risk? You okay, buddy? Thanks, Sam. What if you were spotted? Either here or I assume Neon. It means the Syndicate may come after all of you. The only way to get us to be really safe is to see this through. Why don't you call in the Rangers? I think the Sioka have found a way to intercept some of our secure transmissions. We can't trust traditional communication. I have a limited window where the intel I gathered is actionable, so I'm afraid it's just us. Well, it depends on what you're asking. That's fair. Just like Lillian. Straight from one fire to the next. That's the job, Sam. You know that. There's a shipment of armaments coming in on a heavy freighter, the Duma. I know it's itinerary. But I don't know where the arms are being stored. If we find the cash, we can lure out a Sayoka underboss, Valerie Mascara. It probably is intel, too. Valerie will come for it with everything she's got. That's what I'm counting on. Oh. So we get the location of the cash from the Duma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we make our move. Thank you. I, I didn't even say yes. Okay. Mom's safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, kid. All right, not what I planned, but I guess we're in this thing now. Dark Phoenix says, you might have been up, able to build an outpost somewhere on the planet, maybe away from the mission site. Oh, maybe that was the issue. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll help out Lillian now. Oh, guess they're not going to cut their engines or prepare for boarding. So I guess we'll cut the engines for them. Oh wow, they're going down fast. Alright. Good thing is, they're destroyed. Bad thing is, can we still get the info? I don't know that we can. What did we loot out of there? Did we pick up anything we can read? Dumas is destroyed. What do I do now? Maybe I wasn't supposed to destroy it? I couldn't help it. I'm sure nothing I picked up. Let's just read everything. So then I started shooting. That's basically Gladys. Well, fuck. to do now there's no way we locked ourselves out of the mission that easy they ha I'm sure I'm not the first person who's destroyed the ship I was so worried about mom let me see if I can talk to her Sam has had a lot to say about you. Oh, really? I can't believe you're fine with bringing my daughter along on all your adventures. And encouraging Sam with all this constellation is great for core nonsense? It's dangerous. Uh, I don't know if we could have stopped Cora if we tried. <laughs> that does sound like her. So I'm sure Sam's told you all about me. Go on. 
That's whatever you want. I don't really care about any of this. Later, then. I was just trying to progress this quest. Uh, I don't know what to do. We might just have to leave the 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 area and come back. Just land here and then we'll try it again. That's so weird. I figured if we blew up the ship, we would just loot the instructions. Landing site locked. Take us in. Let's try this again. Orbital insertion complete. You may now move freely about the cabin. Yeah, it's still destroyed. Um, this might be a bug, perhaps. Let me just Google it real quick. What is this quest called? Matters of the Heart. Oh yeah, it's a bug. A lot of people are reporting it. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better. But let's see if people figured out how to fix it. It's in your ship inventory cargo. Take it out and the quest will update. Oh. God bless the internet. Like, literally, what would we do without them? <laughs> okay, let's let's try this. So it's in my cargo. Cargo hold. Notes. Message to Dumas. Oh. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. No, not store. I want to read it. Got it, coming. What did you need? Nothing from you. Hi, I found it. Excellent. We know where the cache is now. I know the top Valerie uses. It'll be very secure, and if you trip the alarm, it'll send a distress call out. Level with me. Why is this cache so important? Valerie wants to arm the syndicate and start preying on all the little outposts and space stations that are far away from Ranger's protection. She's not a pirate. She's an extortionist. And if we let her get her hooks into these- Oh, thanks you for giving uh, a shout out to Morgan well, Meerkat. Everyone, please go follow my friend Mapsio course. Morgan. Great friend of mine. Great streamer. Just click on her name there on the top of the chat and you'll head right on over. How many reinforcements can we expect? We can count on at least one ship being within range. Maybe two. Valerie has more robots than men, so expect hard targets. All right, nothing we can't handle. <laughs> Oh my god, that Hamtaro emote is so cute! I love it! Alright. We got our location. Let's go. Oh, not cancel. That's where I wanted to go. that you think I would put you into a planet, but it's fine. I won't take it personally. All right. Valerie's cash. Here it is.
Ooh, it's a snowy planet. I set up an outpost on a planet like this once. It's 15 degrees and there's snow on the ground? What? Okay, something's wrong here. Bethesda clearly doesn't know how snow works. Because this planet is apparently 15 degrees right now. <laughs> and it is covered in snow, but anyway. Is that our target? I always wonder when I find a place like this. Holy shit, we landed on planet Canada. There's literally nothing here but snow and rocks. Yeah. This looks like my house right here. Just in a little little igloo looking thing. A good old fashioned secret door. Kinda cool. Alright, are the reinforcements coming? Yep, one ship, two ship. Red ship, blue ship. Y'all ready? I'm gonna hide in here and let him come to me. Actually, fuck that. Let's run in guns a blazing. Gladys knows who she is. She ain't trying to pretend to be someone she's not. Out the first few. Took out a couple more. The best part is, is that my shotgun actually has some range to it, which is fantastic. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Gladys. I'm the welcoming party on this planet. Hey, Sam's using his big gun that we gave him yesterday. Putting us through its paces, I like to see it. He's using Grandma Gladys's presence. Is that it? No, I hear another ship. There it is, okay. More reinforcements. Two more ships. Oh my god. That's a lot of reinforcements. That one's coming out right next to my ship. All right, let's just wait for him at the door. A welcoming party has arrived! You can call me Gladys the Walmart greeter! Except Walmart is this planet. Where's the door to your ship? There it is. Hi! Yeah, I must have incendiary ammo because it, people just start randomly combusting. Awesome, I think that spaceship lit, lit his own dude on fire. Alright. Got our ammo for this gun. One more group. So for money you have like 600 hand grenades? No, I don't have any. I've been trying to use a bunch in this fight and I don't have any. Unless they're not equipped. Ah, I have 12 shrapnel grenades. They just weren't equipped. Okay, perfect. Now I can toss it. Luckily, Gladys could have made it to Major League Baseball if the whole gangster thing didn't work out. She's got quite the arm to toss these grenades.
Keep tossing. What are these bubble things? Do y'all do y'all see those like floating manatees? What are those? Hurting brain blimp filterer. They're peaceful, but they got caught up in the firefight. Is that another ship coming? This is insane. Okay. She was like, yeah, Valerie will probably have like one or two ships of backup. Valerie sends in fucking six ships of backup. Shooting. Oh. Oh! No way! The real question is, is gonna be... Where's that gonna respawn me back in? Before or after the floating manatees? Before. It's from the very fucking first second we touched down. We need to go through all those waves of enemies again. Oh my god, kill me. Okay. Well, at least we can start the battle this time with a few grenades. And at least we know now that there will be six waves of enemies. Good god. Yeah, well, I guess the game won't autosave when you're in combat, and I was yeah, never not in combat, so it actually makes sense, but... Still frustrating. Alright. Come on! Get down here. Literally never underestimated Grandma's throwing strength. Gladys has a hell of an arm. Nice! We took out all of them before they could even leave the ship! Oh no! Oh my- oh my god! Guys, I'm stuck in the ship! I'm in the ship! Okay, I clipped out of the ship and I'm now falling to my death. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Great. <laughs> that was hilarious! Oh my god! I can't believe the ship took off with me still in it. <laughs> that was fantastic. He doesn't even see me here. Oh, now he does. Took him a second. His, uh, reflexes aren't exactly sharp. Ah, encumbered. Fine. Hey, Tara, how are you? Frustrated? Oh no, what's going on? I gotta be honest, I saw him standing there and I thought it was Lillian.
Note to self, don't go into the ship this time. Man, just tossing grenades into the ship before they can even disembark is just top tier strats. You just gotta make sure you're not still in the ship when it takes off. <laughs> Thanks for the clip, Mirkat. Behind him. Keep him distracted. Going in. Flying manatees yet again got caught in the cover flyer. In the crossfire, I should say. Oh no, that one's still alive. You might want to get out of here though, bud. There's reinforcements coming. Oh, I'm doing good, Tara. I can't complain. I had a long day at work today, so I don't think this is going to be a long stream tonight, but I'm happy to be here with you guys as always. Hanging out, playing some more Starfield, you know, the usual. Yeah, that is a robo dog that really wants to murder us. Oh, there's Valerie! She's dead now. Ah! Valerie was the one with the robot dog. She's the one who killed me last time, I think. In another life, if you will. Alright, are we done? Nothing else wants to kill me around here? No, nope, that's not true. I see more bullets. Also, I see a lot of floating manatees. Okay, hang on. I gotta get rid of these guys. Cast Sadness Be Gone on Terra. I have very high int. <laughs> Morgan the Witch to the rescue! Woo! Alright. One left. Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Oh, there you are. Okay, now I think we're done. I'm encumbered again, though, so I gotta drop some shit. <laughs> More than got the reference. If you don't say, like, yo, where are you? You really gotta get into it. All right, we're done. Lillian, are you happy now? to deal with the syndicate before things get out of control syndicate have been dealt with and it's over i could see why they were eager to recruit you for the rangers because i'm a bad bitch yeah ma'am pleasure working with you i can see why sam speaks so highly of you we need to talk i mean really talk lillian maybe somewhere private no like how they keep it. like jumping in their respective cutscene. emotional support all right uh, I don't want to intrude or make this awkward. If anyone's gonna make this awkward, it's not gonna be you. If you want to fight in front of your friend, I'm ready. I know you don't approve of Cora being with me. Don't I can't take this seriously when they keep up. jumping. She hurt or killed or <laughs> she hasn't. She's been safe. I've been keeping her that way her whole life. And she's not a little girl anymore. She helps keep me alive too. Hey, back me up here. 
Uh, just keep speaking from the hurt. This is good. Gladys takes out popcorn. I am. I will. Listen, I think it's a mistake. And it keeps me up at night. But I'll make my peace with it. All right? Listen, all this, this, it has to stop. They're arguing in a bouncy house. <laughs> That's one way to work out your marital problems. Put them both in a bouncy castle. We had was ever love. But we used to like each other. We need to get back to at least being civil. For Cora's sake. Why do the two of you fight? It always feels like you're judging me, Lillian. Like I'm not a good enough dad. Gladys reclines. Takes on the pose of marital counselor. History. Continues eating popcorn. Sam. I don't. I know I can hit below the belt. But the way you turn your life around, it's impressive. Truly. Um, I think you guys need to start fresh and let the old arguments go. I promise I'll try. I can too. If we were going to be really honest here, Sam, Cora and you, we were always together. Back when we were a team, Cora would follow you everywhere. Like Just bang both dog. of them? Honestly, Gladys is down. Just fell out of it. <laughs> Long before we separated. Lillian, I, uh... Any room in the bouncy castle for a third, folks? No. No, Sam. I need to get this out. But it's not fair that I take that out on you. Um... Sorry, alright? It takes a lot to admit. Thank you. I know. It's, it's my fault, too. Truce? Truce. <laughs> I can't get over this, the bounciness. But it's so funny. Something, Sam. I may break I a hip, but it adds to the fun. <laughs> These messages just hurt. Just little marriage therapy threesome, exactly. It's part of the package. But Lillian, the last three times we planned something, you bailed twice. That's a 67% bail rate, Lillian. Every time you do that, it destroys Cora. And I'm the one that has to deal with it. Uh... Maybe with some baby steps you can get there. Maybe we should take it slowly. Try and work up to some visits. That's fair. And Lillian, you know I care for you, right? But you and me? I know. We were over before we even began. Look, it's none of my business, I know, but... You need to put yourself out there. And there's bound to be someone, hell, lots of someones, that would be thrilled for the complete Lillian Hart badass ranger package. Actually, I know a certain person on Neon. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. There are people that would do right by you. There's more to life than rangering. I'll, I'll think about it. I can't take this seriously. Uh, are you really over the Sam, though? I need to know. You know, no personal interest, just um, objective. Sam and I didn't really choose to be with each other. It just sort of happened. And then Cora. I admire Sam. And he's one of the few people in the systems that can make me laugh. But I never really was. And I'm certainly not now. Well, I think a certain Jalen may be getting lucky. Oh my, you're... you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Now it's my turn. Sam, you... you're a good dad. I know I don't say it enough, but you are. But there is more to life than being Cora's father. So same advice to you. Find someone. Maybe you already have. Well, aren't you just loving the turnabout and fair play nonsense? See you around, Sam. Ma'am, how are you getting off this planet? Are you coming with me, or... You stealing... No, you can't steal any ships, because they've all left. Ma'am, how... Do you need a ride? No? Alright, well, 
I guess we'll just talk to Sam. Planning to do here before the Rangers pick me up. Oh, she's got an Uber on the way. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. She read my mind there. All right, Sam, let's talk. So you see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit, but Lillian's good people. You weren't kidding about her being all about the job, though. She's full throttle freestyle ranger through and through. I, mean, I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of Solomon Co. I want to show you. And have our own real talk, okay? Yeah, maybe figure out a way to repay you. Sam's gonna send a message to HQ. Got some things to take care of here first. Are we about to get in our own bouncy castle? Oh my god. Guys, I think it's happening. After 400 years, Gladys is about to lose her virginity. Buckle up. Why is it impossible for movie or video game characters to say, I feel good, without following it up with real good every time? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of creepy when they say it, too. I feel good. Real good. Like, oh, okay, Sam, keep it in your pants. Jesus. I know you had fun in the bouncy castle with your ex-wife, but... Alright, let's sell some things before we go... Do the nasty. This fender has like no credits, that's lame. Alright, well, we got something sold. Kill for a cup of coffee. Actually, let's take a detour down here. There's a uh Weapon shop? There's a trade authority too. So between the two of those, should be able to sell the rest of our stuff and maybe pick up some ammo too. <laughs> Doesn't everyone say I feel good, real good during every intimate act? Here's what I have settled systems. Thank you for the fun fact of the day. <laughs> now up to the trade authority. Like, all right, Matthew McConaughey, settle down now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. Never sell my plushies. Never. I will sell all that crap, though. Welcome to Aquila City's Trade Authority. Do you have work I can do for the Trade Authority? Certainly. We offer cargo hauling jobs via oh. mission boards to pilots, provided they have their own ship. It's more or less what you'd expect. Bring cargo from point A to point B. Get paid for it. If you're interested, I'd recommend checking them out. It's a good way to make some extra crits. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any special jobs available, though? I do have need of a courier. A simple job. The timetable isn't even an issue. But it requires discretion. Ooh. And no questions. Okay, Gladys' ears perked up at the sound of that. 
What is it that needs delivery? <sighs> That's a question, but it's a simple piece of paper. What's on the paper is for the recipient's eyes alone. We clear? Mm hmm. Yeah, sounds very sus. I like it. I'll take the job. Take this message to the den. There's a trade authority rep there, Marcel. Oh, I know Marcel. He's as sketchy as they if come. You could take a roundabout path to get there. That would be best. And that's the last we will speak of this. Okay, what the hell is it that he gave if me? You ever need to deal with the trade authority. I need to see what it is. I'm 100% reading it. Courier message for Marcel Duras. It's written on paper. And it just has a code on it. Already dropped by. Sketchy. Okay. Well, I know Marcel, and Marcel is sketchy, and this quest is sketchy, so this should be good. We will deliver that to Marcel next time we're in the area. For now, let's go see Sam's special place, will we? See if Gladys can get it on tonight, and by tonight, I mean in the mid afternoon. Sam? Sam? Russia's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in our defense. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me so bad! Oh my god! He came out of nowhere! He just fucking apparated! He almost gave me a heart attack! Oh my god, alright. Whew! I guess that's how Sam Sam sets the mood by scaring the crap. I mean, my heart rate is certainly accelerated, that's for sure. Oh my god, Sam. <sighs> Happy Spooktober to you, too. Yeah, thanks for coming here with me. You know, I used god to damn. hate this place. When I was a kid, I'd throw stones at that statue. Just beamed him over and over. <laughs> I almost got arrested for it once. How'd you get out of it? Shopkeep called the ranger over who chewed me out good. But once he found out I was a co, he just cut me loose. Actually said, you of all people shouldn't do that. And I wanted to shout. I'm the only one who deserves to. <laughs> but I managed to hold my tongue. It was a close one. So you were a vandal even from a young age. I prefer to call myself spirited. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel... <laughs> at peace. What happened with Lillian at the end, not pretty. But, we finally know where we stand. How'd Cora take the news? Uh, not well. I mean, they'll still be able to mail each other and do vid calls. She just doesn't understand that unless you're the Freestar Collective, Lillian can't be relied upon. That conversation with Lillian was long overdue. Yeah. And without your support, I don't think I ever would have done it. Man, there's so much. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh... You. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one, else knows. Well, your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. It makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. We're both the lucky ones. Lucky to find each other. I'm the luckiest man I know, then. Sincerely. When we met originally, and I heard you wanted to travel together, I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or Lord or something. <laughs> Walter would have to be a thousand years old for me to be his kid. You know, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I just said that. As soon as we met, I knew you were the one for me. I love you, Sam. Well, I, um... You, uh... 
Oh, a little lost for words. I, mean, I figured we had something. Some chemistry. Some very real chemistry. I, uh... Whew, wow. He's I not saying it work. back. Abort mission, everyone. Abort mission. This is a big step. A huge Pretend step. I said nothing. If we do this, I want you to know I want the whole package. <laughs> Candlelight dinners, walks on the beach, the whole kid and caboodle. You... You want that too, right? Uh, I will hold you to that promise and cuddles too. Hell yeah. The whole thing ain't worth it without that. You are the single best thing that's ever happened to me. Sam, you make me blush. And later on, you set it back. Maybe I'll show you just how much. So are we not banging or You know, you have a hell of an effect on people around you. Can I tell you something? Anytime, anywhere, I'm all ears. Where's the let's bang dialogue option? I can't stop thinking about you. It's annoying and wonderful. I've seen so much wonder in the universe. Been everywhere. But nothing is as magical and wondrous as you. Well, that's boring. Whatever you need. All right. Guess Gladys is going to continue to be the 400-year-old virgin, but I think we have a boyfriend now, so that's good, even though he literally almost gave me a heart attack the with that jump scare earlier. Like <laughs> All right, so we finished Sam's companion quest, everybody, and we got something for it. What was it? Explorer Adventurer hat. Oh my god. Sam did not give me a fucking matching hat to his. Hang on. Hang on one minute. Do we have matching hats? Come here. Stop moving. Sam. Oh yeah, we got matching hats. Oh, we got matching hats. We in love now, folks. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of incredible. Gladys and Sammy up in a tree. Getting tattoos and drinking whiskey. Hey! That's my song of the day. Oh, Tara re redeemed a D20 fortune. Will the Pats win the Super Bowl this year? I will be happy if the Pats can win one more game this year. <laughs> Let alone the Super Bowl. Uh, but sure, let's ask the D20. Imagine if I roll a natty 20. I'm going to take a picture of it and send it to the Patriots right now. Be like, boys, it's go time. Shania Twain kicks in. Come on. If you're looking for a sidearm, I recommend Laredo's Firearm Factory. Built right here. There's Roland Arms if you're not a fan No. The, pa the Pats aren't going to win the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> it's the no from the universe. From the karmic gods. I rolled a two, actually, so... If I had rolled a one, I would have said the Patriots are not even going to win another game this year. A two means maybe they'll... No, they probably still won't win another game. What is happening here? This ain't the way things are done, and that's the end of it. With due respect, I have repeatedly explained that I do not need permission. I came the dice don't lie. <laughs> womp womp. Oh, Davis, you sound like a boomer. For 20 years we've been doing it this way. It needs no improvements or changes. My way or the highway, we will continue to work on paper because that's how I always worked. I don't want to deal with these newfangled computers. Some time to think this over. 
right. Two means, so you're telling me there's a chance they win another game. <laughs> they'll have one game go into overtime and then they'll lose. <laughs> All right, Boomer, what's your problem? Friend, I gotta confess, I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know, I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but, well, I can't seem to help it. What was that all about, anyway? Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things. No for respect years. for her elders. No worries about the possible consequences. <laughs> I, I don't even really know what the argument is about, and I'm already not on Davis's side. I tell you, I've never seen he just sounds like the biggest boomer energy. I mean, uh, I thought she made some pretty good points. Well, then you got about as much a sense as she does. Terry, it's the worst start since the this 90s. Um, I'm trying not to complain because the Patriots were so good for so long. Obviously, there has to be a cyclical effect to it. We won six Super Bowls, but it still sucks. For a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better, than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. I repeat, okay, Boomer. If security can be approved, that's a win for everyone. Mm -mm. That's a big if, and I'm not about to do a live test of whatever tech she thinks she got. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. A fluffy bunny, hey, hey what's up? Her, be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. Jesus, I hate this guy. What a douche canoe. Rah, 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 boomer, rah. Oh, I can't complain. Just hanging out here with you guys, playing some more Starfield this evening. We found this boomer guy rah rah rahing about the young whippersnapper and her newfangled ideas, so uh Ecologies are living things. We're gonna get in the middle of this now. They change. The way we handle Ashta works for now. So we have to be prepared. Yeah, fair well, enough. You sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? Um I hear you have some new tech for defending the city. Um, You're from Newfoundland, but live in Ontario, uh, right? Alberta. It is, however, slightly Almost. less openly hostile <laughs> than I've gotten around here, so I'll take it. I'm not sure what you've heard, or quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary. Yeah, you're I'm close. I've uh, born and raised in Newfoundland, lived there for the first 23 years of my life. And I went to law school in New Brunswick for three years, and then I moved out here to Calgary, where I've been working for two and a half years now, so. You almost had it, perfectly. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way. Do you know what the hell she just said? Um, hey, look, I'm actually on your side here. Huh, that's refreshing. I just, I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact, just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to play some sensors for me? Yeah, I can do that. That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something to do in the meantime to give myself an air of plausible deniability. <laughs> all right, whippersnapper, let's see all this newfangled tech you've got. How do you feel about the state of our country in regards to freedom? Oh, wow, Fluffy Bunny rolling in here with the deep questions. Um, Over there. I don't want to get into this, to this too much. I will say I feel very, very fortunate to live in Canada. Um, and we all should feel fortunate comparatively to some other places in the world where 
um, people's freedoms, both in their personal lives and in the legal system, aren't nearly as respected. But at the same time, obviously, things are not perfect. And there's always places for improvement. And it's when you kind of slow down and think everything is fine and dandy that uh, usually things come tumbling down. There's my answer. Was that was that politically correct enough for you guys? <laughs> I wonder if we should have a TLDR America. Don't mind the smell. You get used to it eventually. All right, I put up your sensors. Can you tell me what they're for? Pretty durable. I mean, don't go using them as target practice, and they're good to go. You got some good news? Oh, out? an ad cut off your response? <laughs> Rude. Your sensors have been placed. Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. Sorry, it's Fluffy Bunny. Network. Those ads are relentless. I feel like lately the ads on Twitch have just been overwhelming. I feel like every time I look over, it's like, ad break has started, ad break has started. I'm like, I don't want any ad breaks. I've said it once, I've said it a million times. If I could, I would choose to have no ads on this channel. Uh, unfortunately, that is not a choice I can make. You either have pre-rolls, you have mid-rolls, uh, whatever. Twitch is forcing them on you, so I apologize. Thank you guys for sticking around through the ads. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take care of it. Oh, goodness. I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. Oh, so what do you want, then? The, uh, guard standing outside there. Oh, let me in. gotcha. I need you to distract him. I should only need a few moments. So Twitch and YouTube have both up their ads a lot recently. Agreed. Or if you're feeling particular. Agreed. It's just hey, ad city everywhere you look. Official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as. Well, in a spur of the moment decision, I'll now be going to a wrestling show this Saturday. That's fine, Euro. In and out before anyone notices. Is there anything better than a spur of the moment decision? Donnie Darko, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Mirakot says, I'm just amazed we got past decorating the penthouse. I mean, that took up the first hour of the stream. Gladys got herself a fancy new penthouse in New Atlantis. And uh, we, we, we definitely took our sweet time making sure it's all decked out. Then we fell in love. It's been an eventful night, honestly, in Starfield. Still not as bad as ads on cable TV. Nothing like paying for the privilege to watch ads. True. That's true. You pay for your cable and you still have to watch ads. And you get, what, 10 minutes of ads per th every 30 minutes? So, true. It's not as bad as that, at least. Did you see the episode of Futurama where they go into the internet like the Matrix? I I'll tell you, the tell you a secret now. I've never watched Futurama. We'll bring you to the wall. I've watched like an episode here and there, but I've never like watched it, watched it. The jackpot. I can't get into it, but I need a few minutes here alone. It's for a good cause. And I'm just supposed to take this on what? Faith? I'm not the one you should be questioning. We've all heard the rumors, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. I guess I believe you. Wow. That was easy. Regret, okay? All right, girl. You going in? Oh, they go into the Matrix and get attacked by ads. I mean, that sounds realistic, honestly. Sorry, Simone. I definitely scared you, didn't I? Jumping off the roof like that. There was a really good little TV movie for Fairly Odd Parents where they go into the TV and there's a lot of silly references. Oh! That rings a bell now that you say it, Morgan. It's like, I don't have a clear memory of that, but at the same time, it's like, there's like an itch in the back of my brain. Like, that sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, no worries, bunny. Enjoy your lurk. Thank you for the follow. My research could open up more of a keyla to settlement in time. Did you get inside? That's all settled then. Okay, good. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. Um. 
If you need any more laws broken, I'm game. This is bending the rules, not breaking laws. I like the way you work, Keone. It'll work out in the end. You'll see. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Whoa, she paid me seven grand for helping out? Hell yeah. Okay. Well, seems like as good as time as any to take a 24-hour nap in this random chair on the side of the road. <laughs> ah, comfort. That's Gladys. We did this yesterday, and I believe it was Karis who called it hibernation. I, l I like that. That's what we're going to call it. Gladys needs to hibernate every now and then. The way she works is she just like runs for days without sleep and then just sleeps for 24 hours and catches up. It's <laughs> the way she rolls. Okay. Let's go see if she's got an update for us. Hi. Please be careful with Mr. Wilson. I have a feeling he's just looking for an excuse with me. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I, I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. What do you need? I need someone to go talk to Davis Wilson. He isn't speaking to me. None of the security folks are, actually. All right, if there's credits involved, I'm in. Really? That's what matters to you? Yes. Wow. Okay. Judgy much, well, Keone? No. I don't have any credits to offer you. I just thought maybe you'd want to help a friend. We met yesterday. Hey, friends? Well... We're not going to be friends with that attitude. I just need someone I can trust to help me. And here I was on her side this whole time against the boomers. She has the audacity to talk to me like that. Oh, it's you. I got the data. Nothing that would get you. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thank you. For free. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. What's wrong with the data? Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project. And none of it lines up like it should. Okay. Maybe your tech isn't working properly. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this, I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I love I a good really conspiracy. Alright, let's go see what I can dig up. Thank God for jetpacks! That's a hell of a thing to see. My jump? Thanks, Sam. I know, I'm very impressive. Be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time. Um... I hear there's something strange happening with the Ashta. Oh, did you not? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Uh, I'm just a concerned citizen looking for reassurance. 
Right, of course you are. Well then, concerned citizen, there have been some unpleasant developments of late. I'm not gonna name names, but you and I both know damn well who to thank. She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Uh, maybe that would explain the data she's getting then. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you're so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? If there are credits involved, I'll tag along. Uh, I suppose there might be some miscellaneous funds I can tap into. Miscellaneous much, funds, my favorite. Nothing either. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. I'm literally ready right now. I'm always armed to the teeth. So, meet you there. You know, I went to chef school. Oh. This ain't exactly where I saw myself. Did you fail at chef school? People around here think we own Akila. They're wrong. The Ashta do. Alright. You ready to head out there? Remember the first time we came to Akila, everyone was talking about the Ashta, and I was like, oh my god, like what are these things roaming outside the city? They're like little tiny dog aliens. Like you'd think there's terror morphs out there. By the sounds of how they get on about the Ashta. They're you'll see once we get out there. <laughs> they're they're literally okay. not that bad. I was so Just unimpressed. Keep your head on the they're all like, you can't go outside the city walls. The Ashta, the Ashta, the Ashta on this planet, they'll kill you. We'll get some and I'm like, these puppies? <laughs> Y'all gotta get it together. Planet's really nice though, it really gives you that Wild West vibe. This Sam, are you here too? Yep. Tracks. They're all wrong. What tracks? The space and the depth. Just doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. Okay. I gotta be honest, this all looks like dog poop to me, but yeah, lead the way. I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I know that. I see the track now. The Ashta I saw, and I was telling you about before, they were literally dog sized. Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashta? Why in the world? Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. Action time. That wasn't so bad. Trip. Yes, I know. Everyone tells me. You know how to handle yourself. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. They're not that bad. Not even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? Maybe this is someone's idea of a joke. No, this almost cost us lives. No one I know would think that's funny. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. 
Literally, who would send a robot out to put out big tracks and lure us into an Ashta trap? That's like very specific. Huh. Guess that's what the computer logs will tell us. Like, what could their aim even be, honestly? Dude, do you think the Ashtar are bad? You need to see a Terramorph. Exactly, Dark Phoenix. Exactly. These people are so dramatic about the Ashtar. I'm like, these things are not bad. They're like level five alien puppies. Wait till you see the Terramorphs. That's exactly right. Access logs, robot updates, last entries from Kirkland B, and data corruption is detected. Oh shit. We got our girl. She doesn't know how to hide her tracks very good. Oh, Bailey, you've got some explaining to do. No idea what we do to keep them safe. Like reprogramming robots, perhaps? Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? Mm-hmm. What would you know about that? He's all right, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. You're the most suspicious girl I've ever talked to in my life. He's not going to be happy when he hears you're the one who sent that robot out there. Oh, no. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. What a dumb I plan. I pile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. Uh... Sounds like it's time to start looking for a new job. I was just trying to make life easier for Davis. I swear. How? What you did could have gotten people hurt. Killed. Sometimes you gotta pay the piper. Dumbest plan ever. R.I.P. Bailey. Good luck. I'll see you at the unemployment office. That's why you don't replan, reprogram robots to make them go rogue and destroy scientific data. All right. Back to Bucko. By the way, Talara, if you're on a planet exploring and you hear vibrations, there's likely a Terramore fighting something. Okay, that is good to know. Good to know indeed. Detective Gladys is back. I've got your culprit. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? Yes, sir. Bailey Kirkland is your culprit. What? No way. My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. Yay! May not be much. Not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, might prove useful. Wow, Boomer's coming around and everything. And he gave me seven grand. That's pretty freaking good. All right, we got to wait another 24 hours now to talk to Keone. So let's find ourselves a nice, comfortable You're, uh, okay, bench. Uh... Can I sit on this chair? Nope, you're sitting on the chair. Can I sit on this chair? Nice. Time for a good 24 hour chair nap. Oh.
Time for a good 24 hour chair nap. <laughs> Check in with Keone on this rainy day. We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? I could ask the same thing of you. I suppose you could. Things here have been, well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Hooray! I'm glad the two of you are getting along. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. I mean, maybe this is unrelated. I'd like to think so. But the data doesn't support that. There's a marked difference in his behavior. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? Good lord, it's just if been back else, and forth between these two. Fine, fine, fine. Gladys will go check on Davis. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? Davis, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. All <laughs> broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? Keone thinks you're spending too much time on patrol. And there's the headache. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Tell me what's got you going out there. I'm not quite sure, if I'm being honest. It's a gut feeling. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Okay. So you think there's some other creature out there? Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in a fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I mean, I fair you enough. To gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. Oh, I always got the biggest gun I need. I'm geared up. Let's get out there. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. Wow, Davis has really come around. Data that she thought were erroneous or something. But 
I never thought we'd see the day where he's open to new ideas. Faster, faster sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right. It's just a glitch. And uh, no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. Along the path that we've been following this entire time? Yeah, keep keep it up. I remember a story from the first time I was here on the Kila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. Claimed he seen a ash as big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the heat stroke. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I That's the case. This Ashta's been out here for a real long time. Whoa. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell him about this. You hear me? The Alpha Asta. Now this, see, if all the Asta looked like this, I would understand the global concern a bit more. That was a big one. I'll give it to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Went down pretty quick to Gladys's shoddy, though. Make it through that. So you get for being level 28. No way I be standing right now. Never thought there'd be a day when I saved the Davis Wilson. That was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> you are something else. You know that. We got out of lie this one time. That's good. But this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Okay. I'll get word to her immediately. I know. I can count on you. Thanks again for saving my ass. All in a day's work, Davis. All right, so surprise, surprise. Trust in the new kid with the technology was a good idea after all. The boomers thought they had it covered. But it turns out that the Ashta are mutating. We got big ones now. At least we know they're out there. It's better to know your enemy than not know anything at all. Let's go tell Keone about what we found. Ah, your data was right. There's big mutant monsters outside. Problem. So, what happened? Uh, your data wasn't a mistake. It helped us find a new kind of Ashta. Really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't trust it. You know... I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Yeah. Look, you know your worth. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, girl. Yeah, you're right. If anything, this has proven I should trust my instincts. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. For me? I thought it was funny. <sighs> now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you. Again. Gladys loves inappropriate jokes. What is it? It's called the Despondent Assassin. How is that a bad joke? I don't understand. <laughs> Where's the joke? 
It's a legendary rifle called the Despondent Assassin. I, I'm missing the joke, clearly. <laughs> but it's really good against humans. Nice, we actually don't have a, a sniper rifle. This could come in handy. Well, there you have it, folks. We helped a boomer and a Gen Z see eye to eye and saved Aquila City. Remember when I said I was only going to stream for two hours and now we're like going on three hours? Classic Starfield, right? You get caught up so quickly. There's just quests all around every corner. But I am actually going to call it a night now. So thank you all so much for hanging out this evening. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the stream. We uh, got ourselves a fancy new penthouse that we decorated. Then we fell in love with Sam, and finally we saved Aquila City. It was, it was an action-packed evening, so thank you guys for being here. Uh, if you're new around here, my stream schedule is usually Tuesday, Thursdays. This week we had to adjust, so we did a Tuesday, Wednesday. But I'll be back Tuesday and Thursday next week for some more Starfield. Uh, we will be back again on Twitch, though, on Saturday when we play our weekend game, which is currently Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. So I'll see you guys either next week for some more Starfield or this weekend for some Spider-Man. We are only 15 days away from Marvel Spider-Man 2. I'm so excited. So we got to keep playing Miles Morales so we're all caught up and ready for uh, the sequel in just... Two weeks. It's so exciting. Ah, all right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care of yourselves. Hopefully I'll see you guys on Saturday. If not, maybe Tuesday. If not, maybe sometime. Hopefully I'll see you guys again sometime soon. Have a good night, everybody. Take care of yourselves.